for today's video, I'm going to be making some strawberry horchata. I've been letting this rice soak for over 24 hours now. For the best results, I recommend soaking it overnight, at least six hours. I'm just checking to see if my rice is breaking. If it's breaking, then you know that it's ready to go. Cinnamon is optional. I just put a little bit because my family doesn't really care for it and this is my first time making it for them. So now that I know that that's good to go, I'm going to put it to the side and show you what else I'm going to be adding. Alright you guys, I am getting my blender ready to go. I'm going to pour my rice and water into the blender and I'm going to blend it. At least for a minute or two. Guys, this is two cups of water and one cup of rice. Go ahead and blend this until the rice is dissolved completely and is all mixed up. We don't want big chunks of rice left inside your horchata. All right, you guys, let's just blend this all up nice and smooth until all the rice is dissolved. Then we're going to take it and strain it and run it through the blender one more time. So I could not find my little sifter, but I did find this little bad boy and we're gonna make it work, you guys. Use what you got. We're gonna go ahead and pour the rice back into here and make sure that there's no chunks going in. And it looks pretty good, guys but we're still gonna blend it just one more time. Anything that's left inside this little strainer will be thrown out. And here we go for round two. Gonna blend it up. Already making a mess, but that's okay. Just wanna make sure that our horchata comes out nice and yummy. Especially since I'm trying to make a good impression on the kids since they've never had this. I'm so glad I made it because it was a super hot day and this is perfect for when it's hot and miserable outside guys. I'm telling you, you have to give it a try. And for the last time... We're going to run it through one more time. Just to double check you guys. There's nothing worse than drinking your horchata and having chunks fall into your mouth. And it looks good you guys. We're going to move on to the next step. Alright you guys. Go ahead and get a pitcher. I'm going to use this one that I have. Hoping that everything fits in because it is kind of small, but like I said, guys, use what you have. I'm gonna go ahead and pour this in like so. Try not to make a big mess and move on to the next step. So I'm pouring two cups of water into the blender and I'm going to blend the pound of strawberries that I've cleaned and mixed they are delicious to the strawberries I'm also going to be putting in two tablespoons of vanilla extract don't knock on me with my imitation vanilla extract guys that's all they had at the store when I went there's one tablespoon and two and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it up the same way that I did with the rice and here they are looking all beautiful gonna blend these bad boys up you guys they smelled so good when I was blending them nice and fresh they look beautiful being blended um, we're gonna strain them just like we did with the rice to make sure we don't get a bunch of seeds
all that stuff there you guys you can see the little seeds I'm just making sure everything went through and I'm going to discard that so now I'm going to mix in my strawberry puree in with the rice just like so you guys I started to get scared that it wasn't gonna have enough room for everything that's going in because it started going to the top here I am mixing in one can of carnation milk and one can of condensed milk that thick stuff guys make sure you use every little drop I scraped it out got every last bit of it out now depending on how you guys like stuff if you like it super sweet or not you can add sugar if you like it's optional up to you but for me and my family this was just right the kids loved it but if it's not sweet enough for you and you guys like your super super sweet then go ahead and feel free to add granulated sugar but it was nice and light and it was super yummy you could also add condensed milk more if you if you wanted to like I said you guys go ahead and stir it up mix it all together make sure all that yummy stuff is blended in and then go ahead and taste it and see if it's right for you everyone's preferences are different that's why I said just give it a try for us it was perfect now usually you would want a bigger pitcher so you can add ice but I just put it in the cups here I am adding my ice and a couple pieces of strawberry and I'm going to serve me a cup I also don't like adding ice to the pitcher because then the ice melts and it waters down my strawberry orchata and I want to keep all the flavor intact And that is it, you guys. This is the strawberry orchata. Super yummy. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. I'll leave the ingredients in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a friendly comment. All right, guys. That is all for today. I'll see you next time. Bye.